So step one is attaching the Arduino to the deck. For that, we will need the Arduino, the deck, four 632 screws, those things like this. Tiny little guys. And... But not the tiniest. Not the tiniest. And um, uh, an Allen wrench, a pencil, this is optional but very useful, and a drill with an eighth inch drill bit, and some scrap wood also for drilling into. Okay, um, so this is already finished. But let's imagine that we made a mistake and we have to start over. That is actually totally doable because this is a square and it's rotationally symmetric. So we can just flip it around and put the Arduino on some other side. <laughs> this sonar holder is very loose. Yeah. Okay. I'm just showing that's what it looks like. Oh, yeah. That's what the Arduino looks like on the actual robot. With the so rest of the robot. Be the yeah. Of the robot. But I'm going to take it apart, flip it around, and make this be the front of the robot now. So I'm going to take that apart now. All right. We have successfully dismantled this. Sweet. OK, so um, here's where the Arduino was before, like this. And now we're going to flip it around and put it here. So in terms of, so when you're choosing where to put the Arduino, you want the holes to be far away from other holes. And so drawing in with a pencil where you're planning to drill the holes is useful for that. So you can see that all of these holes are sufficiently far away from um, the other holes. And that just makes it more structurally sound. Um, another thing to, con uh, so a couple other things to consider in placement of the Arduino. You want it to be pretty far back from the front, not like super far back, but enough that it's not going to be blocked by these sonar holders and sonar sensors. So that way you can still plug a wire into that thing. Yeah. Even though the sonar sensor is right there. Yeah. Look, I can totally go like this. That's easy. <laughs> and so uh, further back from the front is good. Otherwise it's going to be blocked by those sonar sensors. Also the port, the USB port should be on the left hand side as you're facing the, as you're like looking forward onto the front of the robot because that's how all the diagrams are and that's just going to make it easier to follow the other diagrams. Um, okay, so now... Forwards on the robot, USB port on that side. Yeah. Okay. Great. So now that we've figured out where to place it, we're going to drill one hole, put in one screw to hold it in place, and then drill another hole, put in a screw to hold it in place, and then do the other two holes. So. Hole number one. Note that she did that into this piece of wood. Yes. And also that she went through uh, a little bit more than just going through the board and up and down a little. That makes it so that the back side ends up having a clean hole. And then as you put in, so you're going to put the screw in from the bottom to the top. And you're going to use the Allen wrench to do this. So you can put in the screw a little bit of the way, probably with just your hands, and then have the Allen wrench do the rest. And hold the Arduino so that as the screw comes up, it will go into the Arduino. You don't want it too tight, but it should be just tight a, enough to hold on. Yeah, just enough to hold the Arduino. So now, um, we don't want to do all three holes now because it's still, like, even though it's very much attached, it's able to rotate. So we're going to do the opposite oh, hole. Oh, show that again. Oh. That was, that was on your face. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. So it's rotating here. Cool. So we want to choose the correct rotation and screw in the opposite and this is bad, because um, then I would screw right through the hole in the wood. She's about to screw right in there, and that would be right between these two pieces. We're going to make sure the hole is on the scrap wood. I just blew wood chips into my teeth.
Oops. And then once you've dr uh, drilled the second hole, you put in the second screw and screw that in. And drop the Allen wrench. Drop it as many times as you can. You get bonus points. Come on. Don't actually drop it as oh many times gosh. as you can. Oh my god, this is awful. That's done. Okay, so then um, the other two screws you can do once that's settled. The holes don't look as nice this time. You know? Yeah, I know. What do you mean? On the back side? See? Oh, you know what? I think it's because um, when you do the first two holes, the board is right up against the wood. And um. when you do the second two holes, this thingy is holding it just above. The screw head is holding it just above. That makes sense. And there we are done. Yay. So we have the Arduino attached to the deck. Good.